Hi, it's Corrine for Cut It Home, and this is a requested video. I, when I make mini albums, I tend to add an accordion fold out to my mini album. That way, you can get a lot more photos in it. So I've been um, asked several times if I can show exactly how I have done that. So I want to share that with you today. I will add some photos of what the accordion albums look like in the album and also at the end of the video I will try to add a few more photos as well of different ones that I've done. So today for an example I'm going to be using the Spellbinders Nest Abilities. This is Labels 39 die and you can pretty much use any die that has a um, solid edge. So another example would be the Labels 49 die. That makes a great um, frame for your accordion fold out or you could use the Spellbinders pierced rectangles. You could also use the uh, Spellbinders Nest Abilities label 17 because it has a solid outline. But what you want is also a frame out of it. So you would use the largest and the second largest to make a frame. So let me show you here what I'm talking about. So again I'm using the labels 39 die. and I've chosen the largest and the second largest from the set. From the largest, I cut out several from black cardstock already. I cut out four and I'm using those as the solid background. The reason I did four of them is I want it very sturdy so when somebody pulls on it, it's not going to bend. So just to show you what I've done already, I'm using my Sizzix Big Shot and I'm using again the largest for my background frame and just running that through. So that gives me five of them and I think that'll be sturdy enough. So I will glue those together in a moment, but the next thing I want to do is actually cut out a frame. So that's where the largest one and the second largest one come together. So I will use a little bit of scotch tape to adhere them down. I will just position them to where they look fairly even and tape them down before I run them through. And now this gives me my outside frame. So that will be glued on the top. The other thing I want to do is to add a decorative piece of paper to go on the inside of this frame. So I'm going to cut a piece from the second largest, which will fit perfectly inside my frame. And I'm working on a mini album with the Rare Oddities Graphic 45 collection. So that's what I will cut it from. I'm using the 6x6 and cutting out a piece of the pattern paper. Okay, and now let me clean up and we'll put this together. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is glue all my solid pieces together and I like to put a scratch piece of paper beneath me and just use some wet glue, whatever is easiest for you. Okay, so now all of my pieces are together and this is super thick, so that's great. The next thing I want to do is add my frame. And now this piece will fit 
perfectly on the inside. And it fits in there just like a puzzle piece. So the next thing we want to do is see what size accordion book we can fit behind it. So you want um, to measure it out and see what will fit. So I've determined that four and a quarter by three and a quarter should fit nicely. And we're not going to cut on the eight and a half inch side. We're going to cut on the long side at three and a quarter. We could get three of them out of an eight and a half by 11 inch paper. Now I want to score these. I will be using my Heartfelt Creations Deluxe Flower Shaping Kit, the stylus from it, and my Martha Stewart scoreboard. And on the eight and a half inch side, we want to score this in half, so we will score it at four and a quarter. So I will continue doing that for all of my pieces, and I'll be right back. So now I've scored all my pieces. You want to fold them on the score line and burnish them down with a bone folder. And now we're going to glue them together. I like to use wet glue. If you prefer tape, that's good too, but wet glue gives you a second to adjust it if you need to. So now we're just going to alternate them and glue them together. I like to do the edge of each one that I'm gluing together just so I make sure I get it adhered down very well. So now just take your time and line that up. Make sure that it's lined up perfectly to make your book as clean as you can. And this gives us our accordion fold. And now continue with as many that you want to adhere down. So that gives us our accordion book. So that'll give us 10 more photos in the album. So now we want to adhere this down to the back and just decide which way you want the book to open up depending on the page that you're going to be putting it on. I'm going to have it open up this way. So I'm going to add my glue. Okay, once I'm happy, I'm going to press that down. Okay, and the next thing you want to do is use some sort of ribbon or something to make sure that um, the book will stay closed. I'm choosing some black seam binding, the Hug Snug brand, and I'm making sure to allow quite a bit so once photos are added, there will be plenty of room um, to retie this. So I like to add this first.
Okay, and once I'm happy with that, I'm not going to cut this off just yet. I'm going to go to the back and tape this down. And I'm going to use the Angel Craft Tape one quarter inch to adhere it down. I want a strong adhesive to hold this piece down. So here's a mini album that I'm currently working on and I'm going to have my accordion fold out on this page so I just want to decide where I want it if I want it. Yeah, I'm going to put it right in the middle. Okay, and once I'm happy I'm going to press that down and that's as simple as it is. So when you open this up, this will hold the book together and then when you pull it out you have your accordion. So now the person can add 10 more photos just on this one page. Like I said, if you want to leave this open for a photo you can. I will be decorating that. The other thing that I was specifically asked about is I made an accordion fold out from this cake in one of the wedding albums that I did. I did a much larger size in the album. Here I'm just doing a small size to show you, but this is a print and cut from the Cameo and a lady specifically asked me if I could show how I did it, so I'm going to quickly show you how I did that. So from the Cameo I cut out my frame, this is considered my frame, and again I'm doing the same thing. I added several pieces of black cardstock below it and, and glued them together. Here I'm doing two of them. You want to make it sturdy. And I just did the outside. You can do this with anything, but if you specifically want to know with the Cameo what I did is I traced this shape here and just cut out the outside of it. And adhered those together. And then I glued this top part to it. In my video I did have this black part cut out as well, but I think for video's sake you'll be able to see how I did this. I also, to the top of this, because I knew it was going to be handled, and this is print from my computer, is I added some Angel Craft Podge to the top to seal it so it stayed um, clean knowing that people will be touching it. So the next thing I did is measured it on the back just like I did my other one to see what size accordion that I could fit under it. And I determined that I could fit a two and three quarter tall by three wide. So I cut down several pieces to two and three quarters by six and I will fold and glue them together just like I did in the previous one. So I have my little accordion book together and now I did the exact same process. I glued it down to the back Again, determine which way you want it to open. So I'm going to add my glue. Glue that down, which hides it from the front. And then added my ribbon around to keep it closed. And there's my accordion for this as well. So if you have any questions, please leave me a comment, and I hope you've enjoyed this project. Stay tuned for photos, and check out Cut It Home's blog. I'll have all the details listed on there along with the products that I used. Thanks so much for watching.